hang on a second. So you want me to believe that Manchester is red when this picture literally exists? Tale of the tape. Since Sir Alex Ferguson left tiny tin pot Manchester United in 2013. Let's take a moment to go through, what, 11 years of history now, okay? Since 2013, we are now in 2024. That's 11 years, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's not just one year or two years of luckiness. Let's see how the two teams have bowed over 11 years. Premier League titles, 6-0. United, you just got smoked. Major trophies, 17-4. United, you just got smoked. Seasons top in Manchester, City 10, United nil. lol. Premier League derby wins, 11 Premier League games won by 5 plus goals, 34. Approximate net spend, 795 million versus a staggering 1.2 billion pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, show me one of these statistics that Manchester United beats Manchester City on. Oh, I'll tell you one, the net spend, because these guys, they just throw money at flipping everything and it doesn't even work out because they've got absolutely zero Premier League trophies and they've got minimal major trophies, okay? That tells you everything that you need to know between the difference of the two okay manchester united are a tiny tin pot club that throw a lot of money and don't know what they're doing manchester city a serial winner well-structured club that knows exactly what they're doing looks after all of its staff members looks after all of its fans and everything unlike this tiny club ladies and gentlemen do i really need to explain why manchester is blue when this photo literally exists